My name is Molly Folk, and today I would like to discuss with you all a solution in hopes of saving the standardized testing crisis. To start off, we must know what standardized testing actually is. O'Malley is a publisher from Pearson who says, A standardized assessment is a lens into the classroom. It sheds light on why a student might be struggling, succeeding, or accelerating on specific elements of their grade level standards. The objective of these exams are to test a student's abilities based on their peers in their state as well as the nation. Students across the country are given similar questions and then compared to their fellow classmates, and their skills are then ranked from that test. The majority of universities solely look at standardized test scores and may not even look at the rest of your application if they don't meet the college's requirements. Getting into our first issue with these tests is that they do not accurately represent a student. Many of these standardized tests are based off of the four common core subjects, including math, English, science, and social studies. What if a student doesn't want to major in any of these subjects? Some of them are not even being tested on their preferred area of study. Also, these tests are not fair to individuals with disabilities such as ADHD, as well as non-English speakers. Students should not be tested with the same four subjects because all students have an extremely diverse skill set. This graph is showing the percentage of the race that have been tested and compared it to the amount of that race that has actually passed all four benchmarks. Notice how the Asian race is the only group that has less testing and more benchmarks passed than any other race, including whites. In addition to the test not representing students equally, it also causes a significant increase in mental health issues in students. Having to be tested at the end of every semester or every year really puts a weight on students' shoulders. As the image states in the corner, a child entering pre-kindergarten today will take on average 113 standardized assessments by the time he or she graduates from public school. Imagine the amount of stress students have before each one of those exams. Parents don't agree with the significance put on the test, nor do teachers. This actually takes away from the teacher's lecture time because of the time they have to focus on the mandatory exams their students must take. This visual shows the percentages of parents that don't agree with the high stakes test. Public school parents are a crucial part of the education system and the majority are against standardized testing. They don't believe there should be as much emphasis put on the subject, nor should the teachers be evaluated based solely on a student's performance on those tests. There have been a couple of solutions to try to solve these problems. The Gallup student poll has begun a new program where they measure a student's hope engagement, and well-being instead of their test grades. A member of the GMP has said that research has shown hope, engagement, and well-being are positioned as actionable targets and indicators of success with links to grades, achievement scores, retention, and employment. The Common Core should consider to measure students by success rather than just a vague test result. Another attempt at trying to end this crisis was the New York Performance Standards Consortium. On their website, the group states, the consortium system is based on in-depth literacy, mathematical problem solving, application of the scientific method, social studies research, a span of mediums exhibiting learning, and a chance for students to have a voice and proud ownership of their work. The benefits of this organization is that it is more open to subjects besides the four within the Common Core. This enables other students to show their diverse abilities. There is a perfect solution to help combine both of these. These high stake tests need to be split into multiple days relating to different subjects each day, as well as including other elective areas such as music or art to decrease the amount of anxiety put on students as well as to create a better representation of the student body. Why is this a good solution? This would fix both of the conflicts standardized testing is causing. There would be a better representation of the student body once you added electives to the exams. Also, since the tests aren't as long because they are split up into multiple days, students would not be so overwhelmed with a two-hour test rather than a six-hour test that's taking up the whole day. This graph from a Southern Vermont college student shows the amount of stress students say they are faced with. Seven students that were surveyed said they are stressed 100% of the time. This is unacceptable and there needs to be a desperate change. This solution would not be extremely difficult to get done. We would have to work our way up the education hierarchy starting with a small group of teachers, principals, superintendent, and then eventually working our way up to the county board. This fix to the standardized testing would not need a large amount of money, and there would also be no damage to beliefs, and the majority of stakeholders in this situation would most likely be happy to go through with the solution to help other students as well as children. 
This solution would create a major shift in students' attitudes regarding school, and it may be simple, and it would end up having a bigger impact than we may think. It could save students' futures as well as their mental health. Thank you.